What's up, guys? It is your boy Dread the Game here, and we are back with some more finesse. Let's get into it. As you can see at the top of the screen, subscribe because great luck. And so, shoo through the trees. I'm uh, I I got my friend up here. I got my friend Baby Groot up there. He just helped me fly around. He just helped me fly around. He's got he's just driving around in his little uh jet. He's flying around again, helping me. Baby Groot is the person who drives this thing. Probably. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say that might be because he the um the one guy does have Baby Groot on his back, so that might be also how he drive. That also might be Baby Groot that's driving, but I mean I don't know. Baby Groot, get me out of here, shoosh. But like I said earlier, if they let you shoot, not even from turrets of the guns. If you don't have turrets, then you can use your pistol or SMG. But if they let you shoot like a gun that had fire, you could shoot fire all around. And I'm not saying like foot shoot somebody that's in the air like gliding down. I'm saying like stuff inside of like Team Rumble or Creative or something. Or Save the World or something. But just like, oh goodness! I speaking of save the world, we haven't done save the world in from so long. We gonna have to do that again. Oh, he killed me and gave me a ten out of ten. I bet he was hoping for a zero, huh? Baby Groot, let's get our revenge. But first, let's play a little music. Let's land down and get our revenge. Baby Groot, landing now. Departing three to one. All right. Baby Groot's the one that's driving. Doom, 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 doom. All right, heavy assault rifle. The heavy assault rifle is pretty much the same amount of damage, is five percent more than the assault rifle. So you might as well use the assault rifle because it, the assault rifle slash scar, because it pretty much does the same damage but just shoots faster. The heavy assault rifle, legendary heavy assault rifle, I mean, it just shoots. It just shoots automatically. It doesn't do no more damage. I mean, is it worth it? But anyways. Hmm. Like, let's say if I get like five kills, I could call in Baby Groot to just do, to just like shoot somebody for 15 damage. Let's say if I get like three kills, I can call in Baby Groot to just shoot somebody for 15 damage every single, every single five seconds. I mean, that's not much, but I mean, that would still be very cool. But I have my shotgun charged. And of course, yeah, for some reason he just knew I was going to shoot him. He didn't even see me, but for some reason he was just like, Oh, my Spidey slash Batman senses are kicking in. Build! Be annoying and do 1590s. My Jesus, not even 90s, but annoyance. Oh, it's so shiny. Baby Groot. Like, you see the cursor? Like, if that cursor could, like, it doesn't even need to be, like, be accurate. Just if you can shoot. It doesn't even need to be anything, like, it actually can kill somebody. Once you're gliding down at the beginning of a game, it doesn't need to be, like, you can kill somebody. Just, like, shooting off into, um, some VTOL jets or something. Like, some made VTOL jets. Like, v like jets that get destroyed, not even, like, and then the crash sites is places you can go. Crash site B, crash site, crash site team supply force one, two, or something. So, and those are, those are supposed to happen. Oh, come on! Charge shotgun to the head. Boom, bam. The way he shot me, he should be dead. 
What is this mess? There's no way. This veto is more accurate than I didn't even shoot. But like I was saying, if the veto can shoot like missiles that does 30 damage, and, but they have a 20 second cooldown, but direct it kills instantly, and like machine guns, shot in the head it does 30 damage, but shot in the body or the toe it does a uh, five damage shot in the body it does like 15. Something something not killing overpowered, not not anything like boom one shot. To the toe, you're dead. Something just fun and all that. Like, like when you're gliding down. Not from the beginning of the battle. Like when you respawn or something. Like save the world, creative and and uh and uh whatever and what do you call it? Um and save the world, creative and team rumble. Maybe you can even add it inside of squads when somebody gets rebooted. They could fly down in their airship, um, getting their weapons and like I mean it's nothing hard, just like like it's gonna be fun. Like it's fun. Like a ship like this, you can see it's just if there were to, if that were to shoot like the shotgun cursor, like that would be the missile systems, the assault rifle slash SMG cursor slash pistols. That would be like the 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 automatic machine gun or something. But nothing hard. Just like easy, fun, quick. Uh, like they could get shot down. They have the same health of a human, but they just move faster or something. But, I mean, you could even let it do its own AI and add a whole nother team member to the dang team. Let's say Baby Group, there's a team of 15. We add Baby Group to the team. We have air support and everything. I'm going to shoot this. Since he just shot me and got in his truck, I'm going to shoot him from back, from the back, from it. I'm going to shoot through the tr truck like that one man got shot, but, yeah. I'm just gonna shoot him through the truck. Just look. Watch. Boom! Let's go. See? Cool. Alright, guys. I think I'm gonna end this video off here. Edit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. I told y'all I was gonna shoot that man in the truck. By the way, Fortnite, if you're watching this, please add in AI air support.